So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to create a polyline shape file in RGIS Pro. So let's get started. So to create a polyline feature in RGIS Pro go to the option called view and choose the option called catalog pan. Now in that choose your specific folder destination to, to save your polyline shape file. So let me click this folder. So I'm going to save this in, the, in this specific folder called create and edit polyline shapefile in RGIS Pro. So I'm going to select here. So right click, select the option called new and now select shapefiles. So new window has been popped up saying geo processing. So in that we're going to select the, we're going to enter the feature class name as demo polyline and select the geometry type as polyline. And now select your coordinate reference system. So let me select as a current map. So you can also select your coordinate system of your choice just by clicking select coordinate system. So in that you can visualize here in the search section you can enter the coordinate system of your choice and select the coordinate system. So now I'm going to select WGS 1984 Mercato. So now click OK. So to create a polyline shape file, click this option called run. So now a new polyline shape file has been created, which is indicated in the table of content as a demo polyline. So now to create a polyline. Uh, so now I'm going to create a polyline feature over this river. So which is indicated in here. So you can visualize here. We're going to create a polyline over the specific river. So to create a polyline, you have to click this option called edit and select the option called create features. So now a new window has been popped up saying create features. So now click this option called the demo polyline. That is our shape file. So in that select the specific option called create a line feature. So we have a variety of other tools available. So for in this video, we're going to select only this create a line feature. So now I have selected uh, the line feature. So now let me trace this uh, river system. So now to complete uh, this feature, that is this, this sketch, double click this. Also you can select this particular option called finish to fin complete this polyline feature. So this is South Platte River. So the name of the river is South Platte River. So now, so now let us view this polyline feature in our attribute table. So before that, save the edits. Go to the option called edit and click save edits. So to view the, the attribute table of demo polyline shape file, click this demo polyline, right click and attribute table, select the option called attribute table. So now in that you can able to visualize here, a new polyline feature has been created here, which is indicated here. So it is also highlighted in this part of the section. So let me clear the selection. So in the attribute section, if you want to create a new field, so you can able to visualize here FID is a field, shape is a field and ID is also a field. Suppose you want to create a field called name representing the name of this polyline or the name of this river. There is South Platte River. So for that click this option called add a field. So now you can visualize here. So let me enter the field name as name. So I have entered the field name as name. And let me select the data type as, as a text. I'll select the data type as text. So now uh, to create a new field, you have to click this option. Go to the field section and click this option called. Click this option called save the modification to table. So now uh, a new field will be created. You can visualize it now. So let me close this. So the demo polyline feature that is in shape file, you can visualize a new field uh, called name is created. So now let me enter the name of this river. So now I have entered the name of the river, South Platte River. So now let me uh, 
minimize this attribute table so now uh, you can visualize here so the South Platte River extends beyond this point so now let me draw another polyline from here and uh, let me merge this two polyline together so for that go to the option called edit section and click this option called snapping so now a new uh, we have clicked a new tool called snapping so now let me start drawing this line together so I will join this both points together snapping is a very useful tool in order to join, join the two different polylines together let me show you that so now to uh, to join this both polylines together we are using the snapping tool is very useful so you, know, you can now be able to visualize here the vertex is marked here in square shape now let me click this so now both this uh, lines are merged together so now to merge this both the polylines together all you had to do is click on this vertex position and double click so now let me merge this uh, both polylines together click this option called snapping and click here in the vertices and make sure that you click on this vertices so double click this option to finish our sketch so now the both the polylines are merged together so you can visualize that let me clear the this selected part so you can clearly able to visualize here we merged both the polylines together now make sure that you save this uh, edits go to the edit section and click this option called save edits and click s so in this video i have shown you how to create and edit a polyline feature in arcgis pro so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel